The time has come to learn some Office script. Yes, I am a VBA addict. I know many people on the channel will feel the same, but with Office script, we can get so much done because as we know, VBA is not included in Online Excel. We've had a lot of success in the past couple of years using Office scripts on customer projects. And in this video series, I'm going to take you through the basics, basic familiarization. We're going to go through working with the worksheet, working with sales position control. We've got the offset equivalent uh, in Office scripts and using a loop. We're going to cover all of this in this video series. But before we get started, I've organized a starter pack of information for you about Office Script. I wish I had this in the past couple of years when I've been learning. It's our Excel Office Script beginner uh, cheat sheet. Um, we will send it to your email. The link's in the video description below. You will go on our marketing mailing list so you can unsubscribe from that straight away if you wish to, but we've got it for you now. Okay, so let's get started with Office Script. So I'm online, of course. I'm in Microsoft 365 and I've just clicked on Excel. So I'm in Excel 365 and online spreadsheet. Now, Office Script is available in most Excel 365 plans. The best information I could find on that topic, is it available for you or not, is in the link in the video description below. And then Within Excel, we need the Automate tab. The Automate tab, usually I find this tab is visible. If you can't see it, Google that. You should be able to make it visible if you have the right plan. So with that said, everything to do with Office Script lives in this Automate tab. So let's quickly familiarize here. We can record actions. We've got an, op an option that's a bit like the macro recorder in Excel VBA. We've got an option to record a new script. We're gonna do that in just a second. And then interestingly, all of the Office scripts that you've made are accessible right here. Yes, one thing to note about Office Script is it doesn't live in a particular Excel file. Rather, Office Script lives on your OneDrive, which means all of your Office scripts are accessible whichever file you're in, which is kind of cool. You can see them all listed here and you can use them in any file. So. Let's go ahead. I'm going to click on Office Script for Beginners here. This is my rehearsal. And we're just going to look at this and we're going to just do some familiarization. So um, we have this kind of introductory page. So when you click on an Office Script, it doesn't take you straight into the code. It gives you some basic information about the Office Script. We've got the, the title, the name of the script. We've got the location here, the option to run and edit. We're going to do that in a second. This description is useful for non-technical people. You can describe uh, what the purpose of the script is. Script access, you can control here. If you add it in the workbook, we're gonna do this later. That means anybody who has access to the workbook can run the script, otherwise only you can run the script. And then you've got an option to save the copy and you've got some script activity uh, down here, which is a log of edits made in the script. So useful stuff to kind of uh, get to know uh, what this other script is doing. But without further ado, we're going to click edit code and we're now into the actual code. Yes, this is the actual office script and we're going to build towards uh, writing this today uh, in this video series. So what does this script do? We're going to click in the script and click run and we're going to see the script is running and we have listed 10 numbers here. Yes, in Excel Office Script for Beginners, this video series, we're gonna learn how to write this list of 10 numbers. We're gonna work with cells, we're gonna work with variables, we're gonna work with a loop, we're gonna work with position control, all of those favorites from Excel VBA. We're gonna learn how to do those in Office Script over the course of the next 10 minutes, or maybe a little bit longer. We'll see how, how we go. So, basic familiarization done, let's go ahead and create a script. So back to the Automate tab, I'm going to go to new script and then Excel is going to go ahead and create a script for us. Now, what on earth has happened here? We said a new script, but there's a load of code already here. Now, this is Microsoft trying to help us, I think, by giving us some sample code to work with. And you could play with this. This would help get you started. But generally, I don't find it too helpful. So I very carefully remove this code. So I've selected in line three here. I'm going to click and hold down to the bottom of the routine. And you can see I haven't selected. I haven't selected the second curly bracket. We want to retain that. We can then hit delete on the keyboard and you can see this is what we really want. This is our basic setup. This is like sub, 
macro name nsub in VBA. These are the basics. So uh, we've got our curly brackets here. We've got an opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket. They are essential. Within those curly brackets are the instructions we write for the Office script to do its thing. Now, this code at the top confused me for ages, but this is the same on all Office scripts. What does it mean and why is it interesting? Well, it's just telling Excel that this is the workbook that we're working with. And it's interesting, particularly from a VBA perspective, because it tells us a big difference between Office scripts and VBA, which is Office script only works within a single workbook. So the glory days of VBA, where we could go and find multiple workbooks on, um, on somebody's drive, that doesn't apply to Office script. The scope of Office script is the file itself. We'll discuss the, the pros and cons of that later in this series or in another video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do some coding, but not before just getting rid of that first line, creating a bit of uh, room in the coding window there. So we're gonna do something very simple to get us started. We're gonna find the address of the selection, whether it's a single cell or a multiple cell, we're gonna get Office Script to find the address of the selection here. So we're gonna say, let our cell, our underscore cell, this is the variable name, you could call it anything meaningful here. Let our cell equals, and then we're going to say workbook dot get selected range. I'm going to go for all of our methods, all of the cool things we might want to do with a range are listed here, of course. I'm going to say get selected range. I can hit tab there, and then I'm going to open and close the bracket. This is sometimes something you do very often when you're working with Office Script is to open and close those brackets. But brackets. We've just written that quite quickly. We've done a huge amount of work already. We've already declared a variable. This is how variable declaration works in Office Scripts. If you're not familiar with what a variable is, it's just a computer programming term for a place to store some information. We've created a little slot in the computer's memory to store some information that's useful in our instructions. We've done that in a single line in Office Script. So for the VBA people, it's like saying dim our cell as range, but then in Office Script, we do the declaration and we assign a value to it at the same time. So this routine already should be getting us the selected range, but it's not very useful yet. We can't see what's happening. So I'm reaching, reaching for message box. I'm reaching for message box for the VBA people what would the Office Script equivalent be? You have a think about that. And let's go ahead, while we're thinking, let's go ahead and change the name of the script. I'm going to say uh, testing scripts here. You could call it anything you want, but do make sure you call it something meaningful because all of these scripts are going to stack up under the Automate tab and you don't want it just saying script one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be confusing. As with variable names should be meaningful, the names of the Office Scripts. As with VBA, with VBA macros, those should be meaningful too. So what could we do here? Well, I'm going to introduce you to console.log. Console.log. What on earth does this mean? Well, we're going to get to know the logs. So we're going to click on the three buttons here and we're going to, we're going to click on logs. Incredibly useful in Office Script for helping us understand what's going on and particularly for helping us to debug. If I make some kind of syntax error here immediately, we're going to see there's problems. Yeah, and Office Script is very quick picking up those problems. It will tell us what the problems are. Very helpful for us. I'm just going to correct this syntax here and hopefully I can see those problems uh, disappearing. Also, in the logs, we've got the outputs. Now, if we say console.log, whatever we include after this is going to be logged in the output and that's going to show us what the Office script is doing. So what might we want to uh, log here? Hmm. Well, uh, we're effectively saving a range uh, to a variable. So let's take a property of a range, just like if we were in desktop Excel, we could have the address, we could have the value. Let's take a property of the range and let's put it in that console log so we can understand that Office Script is understanding us. And that's our first punch the air moment. So let's go ahead and say our cell dot, I was going to say dot address. That's the old VBA muscle memory in that. Let's say our cell dot get address. And once again, if you just type in get, you can see the different properties. There's many, many that could be useful to us listed here. I'm going to say get address. And then I've got to open 
and close the bracket there and we should be good to go. I always go to logs, just look at the problems. I can see there's no problems. I'm going to save the script. Now, what are we expecting to happen here? I'm going to select a single cell, which is E6. I'm going to run the routine here and we can see testing E6 has shown up here. So that says to us, the Office script is doing what we want it to do. Now we have an option here. We can add the scripts to the workbook. I'm going to click add in workbook here. This is going to give us a button, very much like the old buttons in VBA, to allow us to run the routine from the workbook. Now, if you wanted to do that a different way, uh, you could go back to kind of the introductory uh, page, if you like, uh, for the script. So I've gone back to the Automate tab and selected the script. And we can see here, uh, it says everyone with access to this workbook can run this script here because we've already added the script to the workbook. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, hit the testing script. It's going to run. I, and I have the option to view logs here. And in the logs, I can see testing E7. We are externalizing the address of our selected range that's using some simple Office scripts and understanding the role of console.log to help us understand what on earth is going on. I'll see you in the next video.